a short introduction. My name is Mizzy. There I am. Oh wait, that's not me. Ah, there I am. Well, I look a little similar. You might say I have a strange fascination with the moon. It's hard not to stare at it and wonder. Where the hell are we? This is Cowboy. He was born in Covina, but he lives in Malibu now. And he has a broken tail. This is Bella. She's a Japanese Tosa. She doesn't really like water, but she loves pizza delivery. And this is Marcella. She's a dreamer, who also likes pizza delivery. And finally, this was Star. She passed away in 2013. Her birthday falls on the day of the full wolf moon, January 23rd. Well, enough of that. This show is about the moon, so let's see if I can't track down the wolf moon. Day 1, January 22nd, 2016. This is actually the day before the full moon. I know, it's not exactly the full moon. You see, the exact full moon only happens at one precise moment, at 546 on January 23rd. This particular moonrise has an illumination of 99.2%. But who's counting? On this, the first of three chances to catch the full wolf moon. I made my way down from the main parking lot at Cliffside Drive. It's about a 10 minute walk. The moon was set to rise at 4.20, leaving me about 30 minutes to shoot the moon. From here on out, it would be a waiting game. I settled in for the wait, and unpacked my gear, preparing myself for the maybe. Maybe I'll see the moon and maybe I won't. You never really know what's gonna happen. All you can do is get ready and hope. Hope is a powerful thing. I 
I was starting to think that it wasn't going to come out today. That maybe those clouds were just a little too thick. But, after a little time, it appeared. It wasn't exactly a sudden thing, but more like a gradual awakening. It actually worked out quite well. She hung around about 34 minutes, and then slowly lifted up over the clouds in the eastern sky. It was quite pretty. Our complex lives play out under the stars, under the moon, on and off in the stage lights of the sun. It's such a dramatic show. Well, before we get to the next shoot, you know, the actual day of the full moon, what else happened this month? Well, after two years of waiting, finally, the new Star Wars came out. So we took our new BB-8 droid to the show, we got no ship. where they ran the new Star Trek trailer, of course. He wasn't impressed. I remember we had a nice sunrise that morning. This was iPhone footage off the deck. We don't have much time. And yes, our Christmas tree is still hanging around. I know, BB-8. Parting is such sweet sorrow. I'm sorry, BB-8. You might want to close your eyes for this. Oh, come on, I'm just having some fun. Day two. The actual day of the full wolf moon. So today is uh, January 23rd, the day of the full wolf moon. Basically, I'm just uh, arriving at Point Doom here. And uh, I'm really early, actually. I'm a good hour and a half. Looks like the eastern sky is kind of getting blown away. We had a big storm roll over, and it's basically just kind of moving on out right now. I'm uh, pretty good, I got all my cameras, all my gear rocking. I think I'm gonna get the shot today. Everything's looking really good. It's good to go, man. Peace. While shooting the full moon, I ran into David Duchovny from the X-Files. What can I say, I'm a fan. I arrived an hour early, just as the last remaining moments of light scraped the hillside. I was relieved to see the eastern sky clearing, the storm that battered our coast all night 
was quickly moving east, and fast, and just in time. George Lucas once said, good luck has its storms. Well, there's no storms today. capture a single exposure of this moon and scene together. I really have no time to waste. This is hardly the relaxed atmosphere of the day before. Today, sharp eyes on the horizon at all times are critical. That's my 10 minute mark. The moon travels her own distance in the sky in about three minutes. So from the moment you notice her peak up and over the horizon, that's how long you have if your goal is to capture an image of that precise moment the full wolf moon rises. That cliff face you see in the distance adds another 10 minutes to my moonrise time. I'm only hoping it isn't too dark then. You see, it wouldn't be the first time I miscalculated a mountain face when tracking down the moon. After a while, I decided to move my camera further up the beach. In the fear that the moon was rising, and that maybe I was just too far down the beach to see it. I was getting worried. Where is it? moment on I run. I need to line up the cliff face with the moon. It's about a 25 second run really, which will leave me about two minutes with the moon. January 23rd, 2016. On the 
my birthday of our beloved star. It never ceases to amaze me. What the hell are we looking at? That's it. Time to pack up and get the fuck out. <laughs> Farewell. Anyway, just yet. I still have one shoot left. You see, while I slept, the full wolf moon traveled overhead. I had but to wake a few hours later to catch the moon set into the Pacific. What a sight. Rise and shine, it's 4.30 in the morning, January 24th, well, let's make this quick. We'll be shooting the moon set this morning, as it sinks into a six foot tide, deep inside the pirate's cove, on the outskirts of Westwood Beach. As I suspected, the gates are locked, so we'll have to hike. There's just nothing I enjoy more than a treacherous moonlit family adventure. We walked with the moon at our back, while Jupiter and Mars hung in the eastern sky, dead ahead. We took a quick breather before finally arriving at the entrance to the cove. Unfortunately, there was a four-foot tide blocking the entrance. Carefully planning along the violent swells, we dashed to gain entrance to the cove. With the tide still rising another two feet in the next two hours or so, it later proved to be quite the dangerous and exhilarating escape. What else are you gonna do? The wolf moon. We meet again. I timed a few small swells hugging the cliff face to find a quiet spot free from any huge crashing waves. Unlike the drama and adrenaline rush of waiting for a moon to rise, it's dramatic right from the start. Boom. Just find yourself a nice spot for the show and fire away. I suppose this is goodbye for now. I'm heading back. I'll leave you with a quote from Vincent Van Gogh. For my part, I know nothing with any certainty but the sight of the stars makes me dream. Until next month. Farewell. Happy birthday, star. <laughs>